What's going on everybody? Just doing another quick little unboxing video, or in this case, an unbagging video. Got some uh, some more parts from DDM. This is going to be some, just some backup parts for, you know, spares, uh, track record, just to have some, some parts on hand. So without further ado, let's just see what's in the bag. And of course, this comes from BDM. And here we have a bag within a bag. So we have some fuel line, three feet of it. You know, you never know. I mean, this stuff goes hard and brittle, so it's nice to have some fuel line on standby. Uh, victory couplers, replacement couplers. I don't go. I mean, these are the these are a little stiffer. I used to use the red ones. The blue ones seem to be a little stiffer. They last a little longer. Got two of these. So, some essential gaskets for the low C five T uh, diffs, just to have for my TGN. They're a lot cheaper. Throttle linkage for the five T. For whatever reason, these break. This is like my uh, my third throttle linkage on the five T. So I'm actually, I'm probably going to order another one of these just to have as, as spares. Clunk filters. No, Got to have a clunk filter. So, oh, more gaskets. Let's see what else we got. Spare spring for the victory pipe, just in case. Mint. Uh, extra inserts, 20. These are the 20 and the 22. They do both. Seeing as I have both the 20 and the 22 uh, gears, those big hex gears. Um, oh, sorry, the, instead of the, the flat traditional flat uh, gear it has the larger hex to bolt the gear on much stronger so I actually lost two of the inserts so they come with five so I'm gonna have some extras some extra spark plugs DDM sticker assortment of the larger 50 count of the body clips for the HPR Baja and the Losi MTXL. I'm always losing these, or I'm out with my brother and who who has a body clip and who doesn't. So now I'll have a 50 pack of them. So, good thing to have. And last but not least, the clone filter. Um, I do have coming today um, another. Uh, a package coming from DDM, which is my low C 5T um, hinge pin mounts. Basically, I'm doing right now, my 5T is in pieces, it is completely stripped down. Um, so, what I'm doing is I'm currently I have all the new fast lane drive cups installed. Um, well, I did it. I rebuilt all the diffs, all new oil, thus the reason for the gaskets. Um, you know, I also need to have some extra on hand. The um, so I'm putting all new lower control arms in it because uh, there's just after two years, over two years of beating the truck, my control arms aren't broken, but they're starting to wear a little bit. Um, so I was able to have like basically like almost like side to side movement. So you can take the control arm and kind of move it. 
Um, a lot of that was coming from my hinge pin mount that the pins go into. So now I'll have, I'm going to put the new ones in, but I'll have a backup set in case I, I break one. Also, I'm going to be installing the, what you call it? The IRP links all the way around. Rear camber, front camber, steering, and uh, steering link. I'll be installing those. Um, while I had the whole truck apart, the truck got a thorough cleaning. So, uh, with that said, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take you downstairs and I'm going to show you the, the, the truck in pieces. Alright guys, here's the truck in pieces. I mean, it's not in pieces, I would say in sections now because I've been slowly putting it back together. No rush. So, the new fast lane drive cups are in very nice you can see that uh, the old ones were pretty well worn did I have to replace them right this second you know probably not but you know it was just obviously given more wear than what it should have and it ended up damaging something else while I was at it I also rebuilt the CVDs at the end of the axle the low C axles so Again, the reason why I haven't replaced these to like fat dads or something like that is honestly, I've had this truck for over two years now and I have not, I've never broken an axle. I've never really broken a part on this truck. The only part that failed was my, my left rear carrier bearing locked up. And it melted my carrier. So I replaced the rear carriers and I put, uh, I just changed all the carrier bearings to Team Fast Eddie. The only dry shaft I replaced was this one again. Because what happens is the front pin just gets so worn down. The back pin doesn't really get worn down. I mean, it's worn a little bit, but. It, it's perfectly fine. The uh, fast lane diff cups are also installed in there. Kind of hard to see, but I can I can assure you that they are fast lane. Um, radio box is all cleaned up. Um, other than that, and like I said, the control arms are not cleaned because I'm going to be changing them anyway. I have the front and rear control arms. Baggle mints, still working on it. And then my inertia racing products uh, links, they're gonna go in. The engine with the beautiful turtle racing clutch housing and the turtle racing clutch carrier. And you can see my vertigo gear, 22 vertigo gear. Hello. Uh, with that said, so it's all cleaned up. It's all nice, nice. Um, there's the tires for the T. I have to clean those. They need to be cleaned. <laughs> uh, backup set of tires for the Baja. Because with the Baja, it's essential to have more than one set. Right now, my Baja currently has the hostels on it. But uh, with any change, it, uh, it will require more <laughs> so also I have coming for the Baja I finally got them I had paddle tires they were Roven paddle tires and they worked well for a while but uh, I shredded them pretty fast I mean you know they did the job for what they had to but I always wanted the RC four-wheel drive paddle tires but nobody ever had them. DDM is out of stock with them. eBay never had them. And I wasn't paying $112 to have them come over from uh, Taiwan. So just for the hell of it, I went on eBay last night. And a seller had... I mean, I found quite a few of them. They're, they're out there again. They're coming back. Um, he had two of them with free shipping. So I said, hell with it. I just I purchased the set. So those are on their way. Because let's just face it. A Baja likes to go in the sand. And not to mention, even with grass, I found that I got great traction with the paddles in the grass. But the problem running the paddles in the grass is the grass tends to tear up the paddles because it's a harder surface. But with that said, um, 
Oh, and uh, where did it go? I don't know where it went. I was going to show you my... Oh, right in front of it. My, that's why I got the hinge plates, the hinge brackets. You can see they're pretty well worn out. That's why I have so much play. I mean, they're they're badly, badly worn. I do have the Team Fast Eddie rear toe block, so I can go to zero degree. Factory is three degree. The factory lower is it's three degree toe in and two degree anti squat. The Team Fast Eddie that I got, where it's still two degree anti squat. But it's zero toe. I went zero toe because factory on the Baja was four degrees. I went zero on the Baja. And I noticed um, better top speed. But it's not as stable. But, you know, this truck is just a handful of the drive with a 32 in it. And while I'm, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but, you know. Everything is in there. It looks nice and pretty. Um, this thing needs to be cleaned as well. But, you know, that's that's for another day. This truck is used a lot more. I mean, this, I love this truck. I absolutely love this truck. It is so much fun. The T is, like, more predictable um, for what you want it to do. The T could be a handful. But if you get really squirrely with the T, it's easy just to give it, you know, just squeeze the trigger and pull yourself out of a situation where that guy, you really, really, really have to drive the Bajas. And you Baja owners out, owners out there that, you know, even stock ones are modded, whatever, you know that the Bajas can get pretty squirrely, but they're a whole ton of fun. I absolutely love this truck. And you can see my son likes to lay out my, my bodies. You know, just for ha-has. <laughs> but alright guys, uh, this is the, the video. So I hope you enjoy it. Next video will be the truck put back together. And I think I'm going to buy new side plates. Because I impacted something and I broke the plate as you can see right there. You can't really tell, but I know it's there. And it's kind of bothering me. So I think I'm going to have to replace that. That'll be my my next thing. So uh, with that said, this is the video. I'll see you all in the next one. And uh, till next video. Later, guys.